I was asked how my calculator stores values in memory using RAM. This is where the numbers are first recorded into the calculator. Let me reset this so that I can show you how it records data. Now, I will enter the number 99 to show you the data being entered. If the light is on, it is recorded in the system. Every time a number is entered, it will shift the inputs into the next digit. But that is a topic for another video. I can also use this circuit to switch between addition, multiplication, and division. Side note, addition and subtraction share the same circuit. Now, let me show you how to build this. It is called, by us computer science students, an S, R latch, aka a set, reset latch. Now, let me show you how I made it compact to put many of them side by side. This is what I designed. As you can see, the button on the left activates it, the right resets it. Now, what if you want to lock the input so that it only records when you want it to? Simply adding an AND gate to the input will do the trick. So, when this switch is on, the input will not activate this bit of RAM. Feel free to ask me more questions about how I built my calculator. I have been enjoying replying to your comments.